Hi everybody, it's another Flying Rookie video and on this video is uh, the first of a series of videos that I'm going to make of my latest project. Um, I'm going to put together a new quadcopter and this new quadcopter is going to use a frame that's made by Hoverteen. This Hoverteen is a company from St. Petersburg, Florida and it's been becoming a very popular uh, uh, flame, frame platform for uh, those do-it-yourselfers out there that like to build their own uh, quadcopters with their own, you know, um, uh, preferred hardware. And the nice thing is the frame is designed to, you know, allow you to install a lot of equipment like telemetry and uh, FPV equipment and so on. So it's a very nice platform to do um, whatever, you know, project you like to do when it comes to flying FPV or aerial video and so on. So the frame is on this envelope over here, but I'm going to show this thing last. I'm just, just going to start with this mess over here. This is the hardware that I'm going to use in the frame. So all this stuff is going to go on the frame that I'm going to put together. So let's start with the controller. This is the GU344 from GAUI. This is the same controller that I'm using on my GAUI 330XS. It's a very simple to program very simple to set up a um, controller and for people that got know that much experience you know on, on RC flying this is the best place to start you know by uh, purchasing this particular uh, gyro controller uh, normally you see this thing on eBay for like $200 and um, I purchased from a uh, eBay seller uh, named Gold Nitro Hobbies uh, they also got a hobby store in uh, New York and these people, you know, they, they sell a lot of um, quadcopter uh, frames and and, um, and quadcopter, you know, components. So they also sell a lot of RC cars and trucks and airplanes. But it's one of the few um, hobby shops out there that sell, you know, uh, quadcopter um, uh, hardware, you know, so you can do your own projects and everything in kits. This is a nice, uh, I bought it for $159 from them, so it's a great price. Um, the other thing that I got is the ESCs. These ESCs, they are Hobby King 50 amps, and you can uh, connect batteries from um, 2S to 4S batteries, and it's really powerful. You can connect, you know, uh, you can program it too. They sell like a programming card, but I'm not interested to do anything like that. I just like the fact that you can, you know, use a four cell battery in here. So uh, that's why I purchased this. I already installed the um, uh, the banana connectors on the, the male and the female. So it's ready to be installed on the frame. Uh, the motors that I got here is the same motors that I had on my X450. I removed these motors from the X450. I put different motors on the X450 for my previous project. Uh, this one's got 2215 motors. They are made by XCRC. This is the Optima line of motors. And like I say, it's a 2215. And the KVs are 740KVs. These motors are designed to handle all the way up to uh, four cell light bulbs. And for this particular project, because I'm going to put a lot of load in here, they are the perfect motors, and since they are low KVs, they're going to work perfect, you know, for that particular um, task that I'm going to do. Uh, um, I'm going to do with the this quadcopter frame that I'm going to put together. So they are great motors, and I pay for this one on Hobby Parts, like around 15 bucks each. So it's a great price, and you can go to HobbyParts.com. It's a U.S. seller of. Um, uh, different RC parts and uh, for airplanes, uh, helicopters, cars, and, and trucks. So uh, this is a great bargain for the use of U.S. sellers. So I recommend this motor. Um, the other thing that I have here is the receiver. It is a nine-channel receiver that works with my Aurora 9. This receiver is the Optima 9, and it's capable to work together with a separate F, um, telemetry uh, receiver so you can get you know GPS position, uh, voltage, temperature and so on and because it's 9 channel I will be able to control um, 3 axis camera mount that I'm planning to install this is something that I'm going to purchase later and 
of course, uh, I will control the, the aircraft. So this is a high quality receiver. So I decided to buy the ninth channel. This is the only ninth channel that I got. Because my other receivers on my other aircraft, they are either seven or six channels. So this, uh, I, buy, I purchased this one because on this particular frame, I'm going to do a lot of stuff. So I, I need a lot of channels. Um, this thing over here is the burr that I'm going to use to mount the batteries and mount some of the other components on the aircraft. This one is made by Align. It's the burr that you will use on the T-Rex 600. So you can cut it and, you know, just put it anywhere in the quadcopter so you can mount the batteries and everything. So it's, um, that was, it was cheap. I paid like $10 on eBay for this. So it was a great price. Um, this thing over here is probably the most important thing. You know, for this uh, 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 frame construction um, for any aircraft, is the LiPo alarm. And this one has got a digital readout with three digits. It tells you um, it will scroll the voltage that you got on each cell, and it tells you the total voltage. So it just keeps scrolling, you know, and showing you, you know, the voltages as you use the aircraft. And you can also program it at what point you want it to, this thing to go off. So I set it off on 3.5 volts. You know, for me that's the safest and the lowest you can go on, on your battery before it ran out. You don't want this thing to be set up too low because the aircraft won't have enough power to fly and you will crash. So when you fly a, a quadcopter, for me 3.4, 3.5 volts per cell is the, the, the perfect setup. So this is a must-have. This ten dollars it will save you hundreds of dollars if you crash the aircraft. So only ten dollars to put in your aircraft and you're safe. Um, this is the set of props that I'm going to use on this aircraft, and they are um, made by APC. This is a ten by three point eight. I got two sets of uh, a pair of uh, clockwise and a pair of counterclockwise, and they are very strong plastic and um, these are very 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 popular uh, you know brand I'm on you know quadcopters and airplane flyers alike these are slow flyers so these are the, the props I'm going to use on, on this aircraft uh, these are the screws I'm going to use to mount these motors on the uh, frame the hover team's frame and they are Dupro 3 millimeters by 4 millimeters so they are high quality, so these uh, iron screws that I'm going to use over here. Um, this thing here are the wiring that I'm going to use to make the custom uh, squid style wiring uh, uh, that is going to distribute the power to all the ESCs uh, from the battery. I got the 12 gauge over here, this is the one that's going to connect to the battery. I got 14 gauge, and these are the ones that they're going to spread to all the ESCs. I also got these DST wires. I don't need all of this, but one of these uh, cables I'm going to use it to um, power the accessories from the battery, you know, like the FPV transmitter or some other accessories. So um, I purchased this on, on eBay really cheap. I bought it for like $10. And they came with like uh, 20 pairs, so it was a great uh, bargain. Um, this, this thing over here is like the bullet connectors, they are 3.5 millimeters. And I got 50 uh, pairs, you know, male, female. And these ones I purchased on, on eBay from a Chinese seller for like, uh, I think I paid like $15 for it chip. So I can use it over here, I can use it for all the future projects because there's more than what I need for this project alone. Um, I got over here. Traxxas connectors. I got a set of males and females, and I got to use them, you know, to connect the battery. Uh, I got a new battery over here that I, it needs to be upgraded with this connector, so I'm going to put the females and the older ones that I got here. I'm going to use it to make a parallel connector, so I could plug two batteries at the same time and get more flying time. And to give you an example, uh, I got these two 2200. Uh, mini and three cell batteries over here and instead of flying with one I'm going to fly with two so that will increase greatly uh, the flying time so that's why I need to make the parallel adapter uh, but also I'm going to fly this aircraft with this battery that is a 2650 4 cell LiPo 
so it would give me more lifting power. So I never experienced, you know, four cells on my aircraft before, so on my older helicopters, since, you know, they're not capable to handle it anyway. But because of this one, it's going to have more powerful motors and more powerful ESCs. I'm going to see, you know, what's going to be the, the flying time with this and, and what's going to be the lift capacity with this. So I got this nice battery. And finally, uh, I got over here the prop cutter frame. And let me unbox it. So I got over here the arms. This is the Hobartines. BC450, and as you can see, this thing is uh, camouflage. It got this uh, military style uh, digital camouflage. I paid for this uh, frame directly from the website, uh, $75 plus $5 shipping. So it was really still. And this frame is made in the United States. I purchased this extra plate over here, and this plate got these uh, tabs. And these tabs allow me to put extra accessories. You got, you know, four tabs all around, so I can mount, you know, the this thing over here, the the, the lipo alarm, one of the tabs, and all the tabs I can mount my camera, uh, FPV camera, and all the tabs I can mount some other accessories. So, you know, like the GPS antenna and so on. Got over here some of the other parts that I got here, the landing gear, the cross members, the screws, you know, all the hardware, the motor mounts. And it's nice, nicely packed and everything. So this people did a great job. And this is the stock center plate. So while well, I, I got two center plates over here, and I got this this one over here, this is the one with the four taps. So what I'm gonna use is uh, I'm gonna use this plate and all these plates in combination to make the center frame that's going to hold all the arms and the extra plate that I got here I'm going to put it you know like a third deck and that's why I'm going to mount the battery so I have either one it's going to be capable to carry either one or two batteries in the same plate so that's going to be a really uh, nice addition you know so I'm going to have you know like a triple deck um, aircraft and between the the second and the third deck, I'm going to mount the gyro, the receiver, and some of the other electronic components. So that's the beautiful thing about this frame. You know, you got, you know, the choices to do any kind of uh, um, layout that will allow you to install comfortably all the electronics. And that's why I decided to buy this frame from these people because uh, from Hobartins. And uh, they, they got great ideas and, and they really put it to work. That's why I decided to uh, uh, purchase a frame from them. And the, the beautiful thing about these people is they ship super fast. So this is it uh, on video part one. On um, video part two, I will start building the frame. And I'm going to show it um, step by step how to put you know, the whole frame together and everything. And then the following videos, I will install the electronics. And you know step by step until... The final video is going to be the maiden flight, and then down the road I'm going to install the three-axis uh, camera mount. Um, I had to order it, and I'm going to install the FPV system. So I'm going to show you guys how you can install the FPV system over here, and then I'm going to do another video. It's going to be the maiden FPV flight, and I'm going to take also aerial videos from this um, aircraft by using the my GoPro. Uh, HD camera that also are going to mount over here. Okay, so this is the end of uh, part one. This thing was uh, unboxing of the aircraft frame and show off, you know, the electronics I'm going to use in here, the hardware. Okay, so I see you guys on video number two. Okay, so please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so thanks for watching everybody. Bye.